If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe and press that bell icon to get notified on every new upload. Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to study about Ellie's and Davy classification, which is basically the classification of traumatic injuries. So depending on the trauma a tooth has gotten, we gotten, forgotten, whatever. So depending on the trauma the tooth has undergone, we give certain classification. Like in Ellie's and Davy, we give 10 classes. And we have certain other classification also like Robin Witch classification and Har Graves classification. I couldn't even pronounce it correctly, so it's not going to come in examination most probably. So today we are just going to focus on Ellie's and Davy classification because this is what you'll be asked throughout your college. All right. So as I said, we have 10 classes. One, two, three, four, five. Is this six? Yeah. Seven eight let's do eight and then we'll scroll and this is gonna be this is gonna be nine and ten okay so first we are going to study about one what happens in class one so in class one we have a simple fracture of crown involving only enamel with little or no dentine so let's say this is our teeth okay this is the root and this is the crown so the fracture in which we only have only have the enamel chipped off or say little fracture in the enamel and no dentine or very slight dentine is involved in this so one was simple fracture involving only enamel and little or no dentine this was class one now coming to class two if this is a crown so in class two there's extensive fracture of crown involving considerable dentine but not exposing the pulp so here i'm going to draw a pulp also so if this is a pulp and let's say this is the dentine so in this case considerable dentine will be lost so all these portion it will be lost in fracture but the pulp would not be involved so we have dentine yes and no pulp in class 2 coming on to class 3 in this also we have considerable dentine loss but in addition to it we have dental pulp which is exposed now the fracture will be something like this like this okay so now our pulp will be exposed something like this so the pulp is exposed so in third we have pulp exposed now coming on to the fourth class so in this the teeth will become non-vital with or without loss of crown structure so there may or may not be loss of the crown structure but the teeth is now non-vital non-vital i should write it here so i'm just going to bring it there so the fifth one sorry the fourth one is non-vital now coming on to the fifth one in this we have total tooth loss evulsion evulsion means the entire teeth will be lost okay it will come out of the mouth okay now coming on to the sixth one in class 6, we have fracture of the root with or without loss of the crown structure. So the crown structure may or may not be lost, but there is definitely a fracture in the root. That is the 6th root fracture. Now coming on to the 7th. In 7th, we neither have crown or the root fracture, but we have displacement of tooth. So the teeth will be displaced. We have displaced teeth in seventh class means it will not come totally out of the cavity but it will still be you know hill jaga <laughs> okay and then class eight 
we have fracture of the crown in mass and its displacement what i mean by n mass or what the authors mean by n mass is that the crown is lost in total the entire crown if i could pick it up no i can't pick it up so our entire crown will be fractured and lost that is the eighth one so in eighth one we have entire crown fracture entire crown fracture and its displacement and the ninth one is traumatic injuries of the primary teeth so this is of the primary teeth and all these these were of the permanent teeth and coming on to the 10th it's nothing seriously it's nothing <laughs> it was my mistake i said 10 classes it is actually 9 classes so i hope you forgive my mistake thanks for watching hope you like the video please don't forget to subscribe share and comment allah hafiz